What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. I've been getting a ton of questions about the performance on the new Core i7 iMac. As we may begin to use a computer and get a better sense of what it can and can't do, I'll be answering sort of each of those individually. However, one of the more popular questions that I can answer right now is how is the boot up time uh, with the solid state drive? This has a two terabyte spinning drive and a 256 gigabyte solid state drive that the applications and operating system are on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick boot up here and let's see how quickly it loads. All right, so I've got the uh, handy timer right here so you can sort of check things out. And I will start the timer and hit the button here at exactly the same time. So I'll go one, two, three, go. All right, so the computer is uh, booting up. We're at just about five seconds now. Uh, and I will say that I had to go into my system preferences and I had to select the solid state drive as the boot drive uh, and that did make things much quicker. So it's uh, loading right now. Right about 19 seconds. And uh, there it is, about 23 seconds or so as uh, the full boot time. Uh, very quick. Uh, applications launch very quickly as well. Uh, let me show you the application launch speed. We'll decide later here for Time Machine. Go ahead and launch iMovie, and all these are loaded right on the solid state drive. iMovie launches very quickly. You can see it just launched up there on the other monitor. Uh, let's take another application. I will do a head-to-head -head comparison too with the old iMac to see whether or not there's a bigger performance difference. Uh, let's go ahead and launch, um, let's say something like iTunes for example. So pull that up very quickly and launch right afterwards. There's really very little delay between hitting the button uh, and seeing the application actually launch. Uh, here's Firefox for an example. Things are just very, very, very quick. And that may be due to the faster processor, the solid state drive, and the more RAM, or a combination of all of it. But things really do um, launch much faster than I expected. Anyway, guys, hope this answered some of the quick questions that you had about the uh, Core i7 iMac with the solid state drive. I'll be answering many, many, many more, including gaming performance. Uh, again, I'll compare it with the old iMac, and I'll do some benchmarks uh, to see how this thing stacks up. All right, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Solid state drive is worth it on the Core i7 iMac. Uh, and the biggest question I've been getting with the solid state drive. So this does have a two terabyte uh, solid. What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. I've been getting a ton of questions about the performance of the new Core i7 iMac. Uh, one of the questions that I've been